Hi everybody, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. I have a 12 by 12 um, painting that I did and I'm putting a second coat on. I'm gonna do a little something different on it. I am giving it a light sand. I'm sanding it down right now. And then I will clean it with some alcohol to get all the dust off. Quick. And voila. I'm going to put some clear on here just a little bit, not too much. Because I don't want to dilute my colors too much. So I'm going to put a little bit of clear on here first. I mean, you don't have to do that. It's just something I like to do. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I'm going to heat it up with my heat gun real quick. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me what um, heat gun I use, what wattage. It doesn't matter. I've used, I think, every heat gun out there. They don't last long with me because I always resin. <laughs> I always resin them shut or, you know, do something that they quit working. Uh, so I've been through a lot of heat guns, a lot of blow dryers, a lot of heat guns, and I've tried just cheap ones, expensive ones. I've tried them all, and it really doesn't matter. They all give you the same effect. Just throwing that out there at least for me they do i don't know you know some people are particular about those things i'm not this is what i do when i give a video when i do a video i'm giving you my um style it's not everybody's style everybody's different you know this is art i've got from the color cottage mica pigments which i am obsessed with and I want to thank them for everything. They're like the sweetest, kindest people ever. But I have sapphire blue, which this is probably my all-time favorite other than gold. I have their white. I have their seaside blue. I have the uh, silver from uh, Stone Coat, which stinks really bad. It's Definitely wear a face mask. I mean, you're gonna wear a face mask anyway when you mix these. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Hopefully it'll work. I am gonna save a little bit of each color. And I don't have to cover the whole thing with these pigments just because, like, I have the background there. So if that shows through, that'd be actually pretty cool. And the silver. I'm going to put right on top of these colors. Because the silver is oil-based, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And it should create a bunch of cells mixed in with the other colors really cool if it does Let's see what works better if we put the silver on the bottom or the silver on top but we'll I'm gonna try it both ways and see so anyway you do it live and learn I love the sapphire blue it's so beautiful I love a deep, rich color because those rich colors make your painting pop. Okay, put a little bit more white right here. I have no white over here, like none. Doesn't have to be everywhere, but I wanna. I probably should be wearing my respirator today because this, this sort of stinks, man, it's bad. You can already see, I don't know, the lighting's not, of course the lighting's messed up, like usual. One of these days I'm gonna invest in a really good camera and some good lighting for you guys. When I can afford it. It's hard keeping this channel going because it's so expensive. I 
I don't know, I'm not liking these bubbles too much. It's um, too many bubbles. Can you see it? I gotta move this camera. I can tell there's too much light. Alright, give me a minute, guys. Yeah, I'm not... I don't know, that's so... Maybe I used too much silver. I think that's what I did. Too much. Because I'm getting a lot of cells, but a little bit, it's, um... I don't know. I don't, I'm not liking the... I'm not liking some of this. too much for me a little too much okay I'm gonna get some clear I'm gonna drip it on here and I'm just gonna do a couple little spots I love that dark blue I love the the color cottage Sapphire blue. It's incredible. It's just so pretty. I gotta, I gotta put more on here. I'm gonna put a lot of these close together. I just wish I had a smaller stick so I could just get the finest little drip. I just wanna give it a little something. Create my own cells. I mean, there's a lot of cells going on, but I want to create my own. And if you can see, I'm just using the littlest tiny bit of clear, like the littlest tiny bit, like just not too much. Okay, sorry. Um, I added some sapphire blue into the center of my clear and some of the teal. Right now, I'm just going to keep going. Add little by little, I'm going to add some colors. Where's my stick? Oh, gosh. I swear I get a phone call every time I'm doing a video. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, a little bit of white. And I'm just doing the littlest drop in each color. I'm putting that on. I'm, I'm hoping to get something a little bit different, you know. It's so cold in my garage right now that my resin... Oh, Shit, I hate when it drips like that. My resin is uh, getting hard already. It's only been like 10 minutes, I swear. Yeah, it's definitely getting hard. Let me heat it up with my... my heat gun. But not quite so. So I wanted to give a shout out to a pretty good resin artist. Because every single time I watch her video, she cracks me up. She's a really good resin artist. Her name is Tammy Anderson. So if you got a minute, um, look her up. Check out her YouTube channel. You guys will really like her. She's like so down to earth. I'm going to add a smidge of clear on top of all these colors and see what I get. I don't know if it's a good idea, but we'll find out. Hopefully the clear will go down to the sapphire blue and create a little something. Because whenever you drop the clear on, and if you drop it from high, which I'm trying to do, but I don't have enough resin on there. I don't want too much resin either. It will go down to the bottom color and pull it up top. It's so cool the way that reacts. But if it doesn't do it, then I'll just put some different color on top. Maybe some sapphire blue, because of course I'm obsessed with that color right now on this painting too. I like the silver. I put a little bit too much. I didn't realize that like it would do what it did. It like overwhelmed the painting. So next time when I use it, I'm only going to use like a drop of it here and there and not quite 
pour it on like I did. But like I said, you live and learn with these pieces, that's for sure. Drop of sapphire blue. Am I? All right, now I'm gonna heat this up and see what I get. One more drop, and we'll be good, I think. Okay, let me get my two. Some reason, I don't want to uh, blow these all out. I don't want to blow them all to hell. That's what I don't want to do. Oh, Lord. Make sure you do your edges. I want to mute them out a little. I don't want them totally like in circles so the by heating them up more and more it will soften the circles out mm. silver man that silver is like taking over silver i'm not gonna use that silver i'm gonna use it but not quite that much next time Yeah, it's kind of weird. I think I need a little bit more sapphire blue, and I'll be good. What do you guys think? I don't know. It's turquoise blue. I need something to break this up, right? I say a little, and I'm putting a sh sh load on there. Uh, I know I got a potty mouth. That's the way I talk. So if you're going to watch my videos, you're definitely going to hear me talk like that. Cool. Different. Right? A little something different. They look like huge cells created. I like that look. All right, I'm going to call it a day on this one. I'll bring the camera down, let you see what it looks like, and you tell me what you think. Okay, so here's the finished piece. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget, if you from me, I get a little tiny, tiny bit from Amazon for you guys doing that. But you know what? That little bit adds up at the end of the month. You know, I might get a little something, but it helps. Every little bit helps. I appreciate y'all watching. See how that silver took over a little bit? Next time I'm going to use a lot less. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Come on, Duke. Let's go. Say goodbye. Come on. Let's go. You want to go for a walk? Come on. Let's go.